Thank you for buying this、uh, charging station locker from FixtureDisplays.com. Here's are the parts. You have the base. You have the two tubes, the lower tube and the upper tube, and then the、uh, brackets, as well as the body. You want to flip the base to install the levelers first. The levelers help you to balance the display on uneven surface and help that off the ground. You want to line up the flange at bottom of the of the tube, the hose to the base, and fasten with screws. Then thread the wiring through the upper tube, and then screw the upper tube to the lower tube. Now you can feed the wiring through the little platform. Remember the tree direction face down. Align the holes, and then you can fasten this with a screw and nuts. If you are mounting this to a wall, you won't be needing the base, and、uh, you can take out the wiring to go directly to the charging station. Now you want to mount the two railings. With the screws, fasten the screw when you are、uh, when you are aligned on the holes. Now you connect the wiring to the charging station, the top, and feed the wire down to the tube. Now you want to fasten the case to the railing. You want to take out the inserts. The newer version no longer have those inserts. Now you want to identify the holes, and before you fasten this, you want to make sure you check the left and right balance、uh, distance is desirable before you fasten it, because the bottom hole is a longer runway hole. Then you can fasten with the spanner and a wrench. Now this shows you how to work with the lock. The lock comes with a tape to hold the tongue in open position, so so you can open it without power. Then you want to、uh, find your own power supply, your your battery. In install your battery, then close the.、Uh, Thank you for buying this one six. Eight six six lock from Fixture Displays. We're going to introduce you how to use this security lock. There are two ways to use this lock. One is in public mode. One is in private mode. Now, in private mode,、uh, each locker is assigned to a particular person. Whereas in public mode, it is meant for a a walk-in person, walk-up person to use it one time, and that's it. The two passwords: one is the user password, and then the administrator password. The user password is for an individual use, and the admin password. Is for someone who has authority over the user. When you change any settings, the administration password is required. The default admin password is eight zeros. We're going to introduce you how to change the admin code right now. You want to hold the enter button until the first light turns on. Then put in the original admin password, which is eight zeros. Enter. 
Now put in the new password. In this case, we're doing eight eight. Enter. And the new code is eight eight. I'm going to put the new code in. Eight eights. Enter. You'll see the lock retracts and is all in open position. Now the default mode when you purchase this lock is in a private use, and the tongue、um, retracts and then comes back in a few seconds. That means、uh, meant for someone use the locker and close it in a few seconds. Now the default user code is four ones. Then enter, and the lock retracts, and then it comes back in a few seconds, so that you can close it after you retrieve your article in this locker. Now we're going to show you how to change the user code. Once again, the default user code is four ones. To change the user code, hit the enter two consecutive times. The lights comes up. Put in the old password, enter, and then put in a new user code. In this case, we're trying four twos. Enter, and it's changed. Now we're gonna try the new user code, four twos, and it retracts, opens, and close. Again, this is in private use situation. We're now going to introduce you in the public mode. Assume you are using this locker for public use. If you have any questions, email us cs at fixturedisplays dot com. Once again, the default setting is private use. We're going to show you how to change to public mode. You're going to hit C, enter, four, enter. It blinks the first light. We want to put in the admin password, but you need to do so before the light turns off. If you pass that time, you have to start over again. So we're going to see enter for enter old password eight eight which we just changed. In your case, if you doesn't change it, would be、uh, eight zeros. Now it is in the public mode. However, the lock position does not change at this moment. If it was locked when you are doing the change, it remains to be locked. It was open. If it were open, it remains open. As administrator, for public use, you want to set it in open position before a user can walk in and use it. Now assume the lock is in open position. A wa、um, user walks up. He can set a password. In this case, he set in four twos. Then、um, then he can lock it with these four twos. When he comes to unlock it, he put in four twos, and it retracts. Now it's only good for one use. So a new user come, he has to select a new password. If a user forgot the password he set, that's when the administrator can open the locker.
Now, in either public or private mode, if the administrator get involved, the default password for the user go back to 401s, and in public mode goes to nothing because it has not hasn't been set. See, a new user came and set the 46 as a password. He locks it and comes back to open it, put in 46, he opens it. And then supposedly he's gone. Now in the in case the user never came back or the administrator just need to clean up the lockers, he can enter the admin password and reset every locker. Now, if uh, the administrator password is forgotten, there are two ways to do this. We're gonna right now. We're gonna introduce you one way to open the lock in the back, and there is a reset button in the center, right there. Hold that button until you hear a long beep. Everything is reset. Now there are times you cannot access the back of the lock. Then we're going to introduce you how to do that in a later uh, in later part of this video. We just show you how to change this from private to public use. Now we're going to show you how to turn from public to private use. It is C enter, 5 enter. Then put in the administrator password. Because we have just reset to 8 zeros, now the light is off. So let's start over again. We're going to do C enter, 5 enter. The light went on, and then 8 zeros. Enter. Now it's back in private use. Again, if you have any questions, email us cs at fixturedisplays.com. Now this lock has a user password protection system. If someone keeps putting in the wrong password, the lock is disabled for five minutes. This is give the user security. So you don't want to just you know mess around with the lock that's going to give you five minutes before you can access it. Now we're going to introduce you if the administrator password is forgotten and you could not access the back to lock. There is one more way to get it unlocked. Under the lock, there is a set of numbers. You want to take a picture of this number to us so we can contact the engineering to give you a special code to unlock it. This can only be used once and there will be a service fee for this. This is a number you want to take a picture of. And observe under the bottom there is a uh, USB mini plug-in. That's the external power source that you can access the lock if your battery runs out. 
you can purchase a battery casing from us with a cable, and that will allow you to manage a power outage situation. To send that number to us, our email is cs at fixturedisplays.com. Now in the public mode, you need a way to identify which is locker is available, which is occupied. If the after the administrator opened all the lockers, make them available for use. If one is locked, meaning that's used, choose the one that has an open door. Another way to do this is to set a particular light to indicate occupancy. Now this particular lock is locked right now in public mode. To set the light, do C enter, 8 enter, enter the administrator password. Observe the middle light. It blinks. meaning the lock is in a locked position. Now we're going to open it. Observe the middle light again. The middle light is off. Now notice in the public mode, once you open it, it remains open until it is used.